Hello everybody. Our next camera is the Zenit EM. It was made from 1972 to 1984, so it had a pretty good long run. Uh, it's an M42 mount camera, the screw mount. Uh, the improvement over the plain E model, it'll auto stop down with the 44M lens. I have the plain uh, Helios 44. It still used the stop down ring. Hopefully you can see this. Uh, you, you focus with it wide open, compose, and then you slide this ring and it stops down to your selected aperture. This has a horizontal cloth shutter, uh, full stops from a thirtieth of a second to one five hundredth of a second, plus bulb. The manual warns you not to turn the shutter uh, selector between B and 500. I have a feeling somebody did because the marked shutter speeds on this dial do not match. What I did was I hunted down bulb and made a mark and then I just checked, okay, what's the next one in line? and kind of did it by the number of click stops. You set it by lifting and turning and then you let it down in the next detent. I ruined a few shots because I loaded film. I just done a wind and click. Okay, it seems to be working. This is an interesting setting on the uh, shutter. They call it the T-lock. You push it down. Well, I had it cocked, so obviously that's not going to work. And you twist it counterclockwise as you're looking at it and it locks it down. They recommend having your lens cap on when you're first doing it and then when you're releasing it because obviously this is a little bit of a clunky operation. I do love the sound of that. It's kind of a satisfying thwop. The shutter seems to be in good shape. I just need to get in the top plate and uh, see what's going on with this. There's a seven second self timer uh, it's interesting, you have it wound and then you pull this guy down all the way and then this button above the self-timer lever releases the, well it sets the timer and then the shutter releases at the end of it. I also saw another manual uh, which said it's 9 seconds. An old clockwork timer. When you're using the uh, timer, even if you have the 44M, uh, you have to set the man the lens to the, its M setting and use the stop down. I have no idea why the camera body won't communicate the automatic stop down to the lens when you're using the self timer, but there it is. It's just one of the many quirks of this thing. It has a cold shoe and then a PC sync socket on the camera body. The M and X selector is this ring around the shutter speed selector. Um, it, sync, it syncs either at 1 30th of a second. Um, the film counter goes to 36. Another little quirk. After you've loaded the film, you have to cock the shutter and then set your film counter to zero. If you're using the built-in selenium meter, here's the actual meter, and then here's where you set your film speed. It goes from ISO 25 to 500. That's what's on this one. Some of the manuals I've found, probably later models of this, um, it'll go from 16 to 500 ISO. I didn't use it just because this window is really crudded up inside. When I put the meter towards the light, the meter is moving, so I'll have to check this against another meter. In the viewfinder, um, there's a Fresnel lens, kind of the overall, and then there's ground glass circle, and in the middle, instead of a split image, um, it has a matte prism, that kind of shimmery look. Pretty old camera. I haven't tracked down the serial number. I have a feeling this is one of the earlier ones. To rewind is another weird quirk. Um, you have to put the cap on. 
because you have to have it wound and then hit the shutter button and set this collar around the shutter button to this R position. This one's stiff. I biffed a couple more shots because I didn't have this guy all the way counterclockwise um, and rewinding was kind of jamming. And then the rewind knob, they really love the spring-loaded knobs on these guys. It's recessed within the uh, exposure computer. You push it in, turn it counterclockwise, and it pops it up. Then it just uses this tiny little knob. Really a lot of fun to shoot with. I was kind of pleasantly surprised, given all the mistakes that I made. Not checking that the controls were right, not properly rewinding, but I just metered it, set my aperture, set my shutter, wound it, and hit it. Um, it is dead simple. These things are literally built like tanks. And this one's in pretty good shape, the funkiness notwithstanding. You can tell it's for the export market because it says Zenit rather than uh, the Cyrillic letters. I'm going to try and get this guy fixed up. I may shoot another roll through it. I've got yet another Zenit that I haven't shot with. I'll see you then.